In this video, we're going to be going through the best stockbrokers and apps available to Irish investors. There are a number of apps and brokers available to Irish investors, but deciding between them can be tricky. We've broken it up into beginner focused, novice focused and advanced focused brokers. We'll be talking about four different brokers, Revolut, DeGiro, eTaro and Interactive Brokers. We'll also briefly mention Binance and Coinbase. If you want to jump straight to a certain broker, use the timestamps that we've left in the description below to jump directly to the broker of interest. Or if you want to get an overview of all of them, stick with us for the whole video. I'm Steve. I'm Kian. And this is The Learnings Report, a show where we make investing accessible and understandable for everyone. Let's get straight to it. And we'll start with the easiest broker for beginners, Revolut. Revolut probably doesn't need much of an introduction. Most of you probably already have the app and use it regularly. What are the pros of Revolut? Well, number one, you can buy fractional shares. What is a fractional share? A fractional share is basically a portion of a full share. So the benefit here is that it gives you access to shares that may be too expensive for you to buy in one go. For example, if the share price was $1,000, but you only want to buy about $100 of that share, with fractional shares, you're able to do that. So number two, there are very minimal fees with Revolut. So there are no withdrawal fees, no inactivity fees, and there's also no minimum deposit. Number three, you can buy US stocks, cryptos, and commodities, such as gold and silver, depending on your membership level. Number four, you have a limited number of free trades per month based on your membership plan. However, if you're paying for the plan, they're not really free anyway. And number five, there's a pretty decent user interface, which is helpful as a beginner investor for just understanding the basics. What are the cons of Revolut though? Well, number one, there are limited stocks and shares that you can trade on the platform. For example, with US stocks, you can only trade on the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. And within that, there are only certain stocks that you can actually trade with. All of the major companies are there, but there are probably certain companies that you may be interested in that won't be there. Number two, there's limited educational resources and investment info. So if you want to do some research, you're gonna to have to leave the app and go somewhere else to do that. Number three, there's no web platform, which is fine, but for some, that might be a bit of an issue. Number four, they are slow at listing IPOs. So some IPOs may never make it onto the app, and then in other times, it might be slow for a company who has IPOs to actually show up on the app. If you want to find out more about IPOs, we have a video which you can check out later. And finally, number five, you cannot transfer your positions to another broker. This might become a problem as you get more interested and more invested and want to move to different apps with more functionalities, for example. Next up, we're moving into brokers for the novice investor. This is basically anyone who's done a bit of investing and wants to maybe get some more analytics or more in-depth analysis with their broker. So the first one is the Gyro. And the Gyro is based in the Netherlands and it's considered one of the best brokers in terms of discounted fees. So what are the pros of the Gyro? Well, number one is that they have low to zero trading fees on loads of stocks and ETFs. The lower the fees, the more money to invest. Number two, unlike Revolut, they have a mobile and a web platform. As you can see, the web version is very easy to use, pretty intuitive, and you can do all the analysis you want here. And the mobile functionality is pretty good too. Number three, unlike Revolut, you aren't limited to just US stock exchanges. You can trade on a number of different stock exchanges all around the world. In addition, you're also not limited by just buying stocks. You can buy stocks, ETFs, futures, options, cryptos, a whole range of things. And number four, as well as low trading fees, there are also low fees in general. So there is no inactivity fee, no withdrawal fee, and there's no minimum deposit. So these are some of the fees. There are other fees, and for a full list, you can check out the link in the description. And number five, there are some educational resources included with the app. These are somewhat limited, so you may need to go to Yahoo Finance to do a full analysis. So what are the cons of the gyro? Well, number one, you can't buy fractional shares. Number two, there's no credit card or debit card deposits into account. This means that you have to link your bank account to your DeGiro account. This can be problematic for some when you have to use a card reader, which is often complicated and a messy process. Again, this is at the time of recording. We hope that DeGiro would add credit or debit card payments in the future. And just to clarify, at the time of recording, you can't link your TransferWise or Revolut account to your DeGiro account. Number three, to open an account, it is actually quite a slow process. Verification can take a while. At the time of recording, it's taken up to about 10 days for a lot of people we've been talking to. And fourthly, and this may not be applicable to everyone, but if you want to transfer a position into the gyro or transfer a position out of the gyro, you have to pay 10 euro per position. 
One final note is that the gyro does offer cryptocurrencies through the use of an ETN. We won't be going into detail on ETNs, but we would recommend if you are going to go down the cryptocurrency route that you would buy your cryptos through platforms such as Coinbase or Binance. The second app available to Irish investors in the novice broker section would be eToro. eToro is an Israeli fintech company that is very well known for its social trading strategy. All that means is that you can copy the trades of some successful investors on the platform and every time they make a trade, you automatically make a trade too. At the time of recording, eToro is primarily a CFD broker. We won't go into CFDs in too much detail in this video, but it is really important to remember that trading CFDs is inherently riskier than buying actual outright stocks. So you do need to be aware of this when investing on the eToro platform. That being said, it is labeled clearly on the platform when you were trading a CFD versus say a real stock. So just to be aware of. So what are the pros of eToro? Well, first up, fractional shares. As we discussed earlier, fractional shares allow you to buy a proportion of a full share and it means that you can just invest in companies for less than the full share price that you might need to otherwise. Secondly, they offer free stock and ETF trading commissions. That just basically means that you can trade stocks and ETFs on the eToro platform for minimal to zero fees. Some of the financial products that you can trade are stocks, ETFs, crypto, and CFDs as mentioned earlier. The third pro to using eToro as a platform for trading is that you can link and fund your account using a bank or credit card. This just means that you can avoid having to set up a bank transfer as you might have say with Dejiro. The fourth pro is that you can set up a demo account on eToro and it will give you 100,000 of fake money to play around with so that you can get familiar with the platform and how to use it. Number five, you can link your Revolut account to your eToro account and fund it through Revolut. Number six, they have a pretty good web and mobile trading platform so you can both trade on your mobile or on a desktop. It's pretty intuitive and it's very easy for a beginner or novice investor to navigate the platform and search for stocks and shares that they're looking to buy. Number seven, eToro gives access to about 17 exchanges internationally, which means there's a very good selection of stocks and shares to buy from across international markets. In addition, eToro do offer crypto investing, but they do it through a medium called an ETN. We won't be discussing ETNs in too much detail in this video, but just remember, you can also go onto Binance or Coinbase cryptocurrency exchanges, create accounts there, and buy a cryptocurrency directly through those platforms, and that's probably what we would recommend. And number eight, they do offer pretty good research and analysis tools as part of the platform. So you can do your research from within the app itself or on the desktop platform. This means that when you're looking at things like price to earnings ratio, market cap, and revenue levels, you can find some of this information within the app itself and you don't need to go onto Yahoo Finance to find it. So what are the cons of the eToro platform? Well, first and foremost, similar to Revolut, some stocks and shares that are listed on US exchanges still are not available within the app. So you don't know for sure whether the share or the company you're interested in are going to be available to buy. Secondly, the base currency of eToro is USD and you can't change that. So you will have to pay a conversion fee if you're submitting Euro or transferring Euro to your account to trade on eToro. Number three, there is an inactivity fee charged at $10 per year if you don't use the platform, but simply logging in counts as activity. So it shouldn't be something to worry about. There is a withdrawal fee of $5 every time you do it, but there's also a minimum withdrawal amount of $30. Next, when you're first getting started, you do need to have a minimum deposit of $200 if lodging money with a bank card and $500 if you're using a bank transfer directly. Every deposit thereafter needs to be $50 or more. That being said, this amount does vary by country, so make sure to check the list that we've linked in the description below to double check what your country is. For Ireland, however, these numbers are applicable. And lastly, similar to Revolut, as we mentioned earlier, you cannot transfer your positions out of eToro once they've been bought on the platform. All that means is if you decide to move platforms or brokers down the road, you can't take the positions that you bought on eToro and move them to another broker, at least not at the time of recording. So just one final reminder to reiterate a point we made earlier, although you can buy real stocks and ETFs on the eToro platform, they did start as a CFD broker. And as we already said, CFDs do carry inherently more risk than regular stocks and shares. So you do need to be aware of this when using the platform. If you want to learn more about what a CFD is exactly, we'll have a link in the description explaining it. The last broker we're going to talk about today is Interactive Brokers. And this is probably the most advanced platform we're going to talk about and really is only suitable for an advanced investor who's been investing for a while. Interactive Brokers has low trading fees and has an extensive range of both markets and security products that you can buy and sell using the platform. It also has a huge amount of research and investment tools that you can utilize when investing. 
So what are the main pros to signing up for Interactive Brokers? Well, first, as already mentioned, it has an extensive selection of both markets and security products to invest from. Secondly, Interactive Brokers allows you to invest in fractional shares, which as we've already discussed, is very useful. Number three, Interactive Brokers offers a ton of educational resources and tools to use on your investment journey as you're learning and developing. They hold this all in what they call the Traders University, and you can access this once you sign up for an account. In addition, if you're looking at doing any sort of fundamental analysis on any of your stocks, it is very detailed in terms of the information that's already existing on the platform. So you don't necessarily need to go to Yahoo Finance or Morningstar to check out any further analysis. You can do it all in-house. Interactive Brokers does offer a desktop platform in addition to their web platform. This is what they call the Traders Workstation. We won't be discussing it because it is super advanced and you probably will never even need to use it. But if you are an advanced trader and are looking for something that advanced, it is available to you to use. You're more likely to be using their more novice friendly platform, which is their client portal, and that is on their web browser. As you can see here, it's really intuitive to use. It's a very clean layout, and you can navigate through your research and your stock investment portfolio very easily. Interactive Brokers also has a mobile platform, and you can expect most of the functionality that you can get on desktop just in mobile format. The next pro on the list is that you can set up a demo or paper trading account as interactive brokers call it. And similar to eTaro, that just basically means that you can trade with fake money and get used to the platform and all the investment tools and securities that are on offer. As mentioned earlier, interactive brokers also has really low trading fees. They calculate the trading fees primarily based on volume, but also there is a minimum trading fee of $1 per trade. This fee will vary based on whether you're buying US listed stocks or European listed stocks, but as a rough benchmark, you can expect to pay roughly $1 per trade. Another pro to the Interactive Brokers platform is that you can transfer positions in and out of Interactive Brokers without incurring a fee. This is especially useful as you move along your investment journey, because as you want more tools and resources to use, you may want to move to Interactive Brokers, and it's great to know that you can move your positions into the platform without incurring a fee. Lastly, you can make one free withdrawal per month from the Interactive Brokers platform. If you want to make further withdrawals within that one month period, you will incur an additional fee. But if you're only doing one per month, it's for free. So what are the cons of Interactive Brokers? Well, first of all, it can be costly. If your balance is under $2,000, you will have to pay $20 per month as an account fee. If your balance is over $2,000, this account fee is reduced to $10 per month. That being said, there are a couple of caveats that you need to be aware of. First and foremost, your first three months using the platform, fees are waived entirely. If you're under 25, that monthly fee is actually reduced to $3, so great for you if you're under 25. And lastly, just to note, when looking at the Interactive Brokers platform, you probably will notice a service called Interactive Brokers Lite, where they advertise free stock trading and ETS with no activity fees. However, at the time of recording, that is unfortunately only available for US investors. The second con is that it is a very advanced platform, as already mentioned. So as a beginner or even a novice investor, it can be very confusing trying to use the Interactive Brokers platform. So you might wanna wait until you've been investing for a while before moving to the platform. Thirdly, at the time of recording, Interactive Brokers only lets you lodge and deposit money to your account via bank transfer. So as discussed earlier, this can be a bit of a pain when you can't use a debit card or a credit card to lodge money to your account. In addition, you also unfortunately cannot, at the time of recording, use services such as TransferWise or Revolut to lodge or deposit money to your investment account. Another con worth mentioning is that the sign-up process for Interactive Brokers is a little bit more lengthy than some of the services we mentioned earlier, so you will expect to wait a couple more days to open your account and get verified. And lastly, it's probably worth noting that at times their customer support can be a little bit sluggish, so just keep that in mind. One final note is that although Interactive Brokers do offer cryptocurrency investments through ETNs, similar to what we mentioned earlier, we would still recommend that you use Coinbase or Binance to start your cryptocurrency investing. So hopefully that gives you a better overview of some of the best stock brokers available to an Irish investor. If you have any questions on those brokers or anything in general, make sure to let us know in the comments below. And of course, all the information, links, and anything else we mentioned during the video can be found in the description. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.